sa video ito, ang pag-aaralan natin ay tungkol sa subtraction of fractions. In adding or subtracting fractions, same lang ng procedure ang gagawin. Sa una, kailangan ang given natin ay similar fractions or parehas ang denominator. Kung ang given natin ay naka-dissimilar fractions, kailangan natin hanapan ng equivalent fractions yung given para maging similar fractions sila. Next is, kapag similar fractions na ang given, i-add natin or isa-subtract na ang numerators. And then, copy the denominators. Kung meron naman siyang whole number, i-add or isa-subtract din natin yung whole numbers. And then, the last step is to simplify or reduce it to lowest term. So, first example is 3 over 5 minus 1 over 5. So, sila ay similar fractions. Pwede na tayong pumunta sa susunod na step, which is subtracting numerators. 3 minus 1 is 2. Copy the denominator. So, 3 over 5 minus 1 over 5 is equal to 2 over 5. Next example, 8 over 9 minus 2 over 9. Sila ay similar fractions. So, minus na tayo sa numerator. 8 minus 2 is 6. Copy the denominator. So, 6 over 9, pwede natin silang i-divide by 3. Para ma-reduce natin siya into lowest term. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, the answer is 2 over 3. In this example, ang given natin ay dissimilar fractions. So, kailangan natin kunin yung equivalent fractions nila. Kailangan natin si LCD. So, what is the LCD of 4 and 5? 20. So, kung nahihirapan pa rin kumuha ng LCD, pwede kayong mag-listing method. Ilista nyo po ang multiples of 4 at multiples of 5. So, next is divide times. Divide times. 20 divided by 5 is 4 times 1, 4. 20 divided by 4 is 5 times 1, 5. So, meron na tayong similar fractions. So, si 1 fourth ay same as 5 over 20. Sila ay equivalent fractions. So, 5 minus 4 is 1. Copy the denominator. So, this is the final answer. Next example natin is 11 over 15 minus 3 over 5. So, sila ay dissimilar fractions. So, kailangan natin si LCD. So, what is the LCD of 15 and 5? So, it is 15. Divide times. Divide times. Kung alam nyo na yung process na ganito, pwede nyo na hindi ilagay yung divide and times. So, 15 divided by 5 is 3 times 3 is 9. 15 divided by 15 is 1 times 11 is 11. So, sila ay, uh, sila ay similar fractions na. So, pwede na tayong mag-subtract. 11 minus 9 is 2. Copy the denominator. So, this is the final answer. Next example is 4 and 1 half minus 2 and 1 fourth. So, sila ay dissimilar fraction. First step, kailangan sila ay maging similar fraction. So, we need LCD. So, LCD ng 2 and 4 is 4. And then, divide times. Divide times. Disregard muna natin si whole numbers. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 1, 1. 
4 divided by 2 is 2 times 1, 2. And then, copy natin yung mga whole numbers. So, meron na tayong similar fractions. Pwede na tayong mag-subtract. 2 minus 1 is 1. Copy the denominator. 4 minus 2 is 2. So, this is the final answer. Next example natin is 8 minus 4 over 5. So, si 8 ay whole number. So, ganito ang gagawin natin sa kanya. Babawasan natin siya ng isa. 8 minus 1 is 7. And then, tignan natin yung denominator ng subtrahen, which is 5. So, gagawin natin siyang 5 over 5. Bakit siya magiging 5 over 5? Kasi ang whole number natin dito ay 8. So, binawasan natin siya na isa, naging 7. So, itong 5 over 5, ito yung binawas natin isa sa 8. So, 5, 5 over 5 is equal to 1 plus 7 is equal to 8. So, bakit natin ginaya yung denominator ng subtrahen? Para hindi na tayo nahihirapang maghanap ng LCD. So, mapapansin niyo dito, sila ay similar fractions na. So, pwede na tayong mag-subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. Copy the denominator and then bring down 7. So, this is the final answer. Or pwede natin siyang gawing ganito. So, 8 minus 4 over 5. Si 8 ay i-over natin siya sa 1. So, dahil magkaiba sila ng denominator, hanapan natin siya ng LCD. Anong LCD ng 1 and 5? So, ay 5. So, 5 divided by 5 is 1 times 4 is 4. 5 divided by 1 is 5 times 8 is 40. So, sila ay similar fractions na. Pwede na tayong mag-subtract. 40 minus 4 is 36 over 5. So, this fraction is called improper fraction. So, kapag naka-improper fraction, kailangan natin siya i-change into mixed fraction or mixed number. So, 36 divided by 5. So, 36 divided by 5 is 7. 7 times 5 is 35. 36 minus 35 is 1. Yung remainder 1 dito, magiging numerator. Yung divisor dito, magiging denominator. So, 36 over 5 is equal to 7 and 1 over 5. So, same lang ng answer yung nakuha natin. So, again, dito, binawasan natin siya ng isa, and then, tinignan natin yung denominator ng subtrahen. So, gagawan, gagawa natin siya ng 1. Bakit natin ginawa ng 5 over 5 dito? Kinuha natin sa denominator ng subtrahen para maging similar fractions na sila. Dito naman sa kabila, in over 1 natin. So, dito, mas mahaba yung process na gagawin. So, kayo na yung mamili kung saan kayo nadadalian. So, dito naman tayo sa regrouping. So, these examples are similar fractions. So, 2 and 1 fourth minus 1 and 3 fourth. So, dahil similar fractions na sila, pwede na tayong mag-subtract. So, 1 minus 3 cannot be. Nagiging negative ang ating sagot. So, paano natin gagawin? So, sa subtraction of whole numbers, di ba ang ginagawa natin kapag hindi natin pwedeng i-subtract yung number, kailangan natin manghiram or mag-borrow dun sa katabi niyang number. So, ganun din yung gagawin natin sa fractions. So, dahil hindi natin ma-minus yung 1 sa 3, manghiram tayo kay 2. So, si 2, babawasan natin siya ng isa. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. Saan mapupunta yung 1 na kinuha natin? So, dahil 4 ang denominator nito, magiging 4 over 4. So, tulad nung kanina, bawasan natin ng isa, gayahin natin ng denominator, 4 over 4. So, 4 over 4 is equal to 1 plus 1, 2. So, si 
4 over 4, ipapahiram natin kay 1 over 4. Para masubtract natin siya. So, magiging 4 over 4 plus 1 over 4. So, magiging 5 over 4. So, 5 over 4 minus 3 over 4. So, pwede na siyang isubtract. 5 minus 3 is 2. Copy the denominator. So, yung whole number 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, uh, pwede natin siyang hindi na ilagay. So, 2 over 4, pwede natin siyang i-divide into 2 over 2. Para makuha natin ang lowest term. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, the answer is 1 half. So, para sa mga nalilito, sa pagpabaro, meron tayong mas madaling gagawin. So, like this. 1 and 1 over 3 minus 2 over 3. So, 1 minus 2 is cannot be. Nagiging negative. So, kailangan natin manghiram. So, babawasan natin siya na isa. 1 minus 1 is 0. So, hindi na natin gagayahin yung 3 over 3. Ang gagawin na lang natin, denominator plus numerator. So, 3 plus 1 is 4. Bakit natin pinag plus yung denominator sa numerator? Kasi, gagayahin lang din natin siya eh. Kinuha natin yung 4, ginawa natin 4 over 4. Then, 4 plus 1 is 5. Same lang din. Kung gagawin natin tong 3 over 3, 3 plus 1 is 4. So, ulitin ko. Bawasan natin ng isa. And then, kapag nabawasan natin ng isa, denominator plus numerator. So, 3 plus, 3 plus 1 is 4. Pwede na tayong mag-subtract. 4 minus 2 is 2. Copy the denominator. Same lang din dito. So, bawasan natin na isa yung 2. Magiging 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 minus 3 is 2. Copy the denominator. Okay, next example is 4 and 2 over 3 minus 2 and 3 over 4. So, sila ay dissimilar fractions. So, kailangan natin sa LCD. So, what is the LCD of 3 and 4? So, LCD ng 3 and 4 is 12. 12, 12. And then, 4 divided by, 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 3 is 9. 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 2 is 8. Then, copy the whole numbers. So, sila ay similar fractions na pwede na tayong mag-subtract. 8 minus 9 cannot be. Borrow 1 from 4. Bawasan ng isa si 4, magiging 3. Denominator plus, plus numerator. So, 8 plus 12 is 20. So, 20 minus 9 is 11, copy the denominator. Then, 3 minus 2 is 1. So, this is the final answer. Next, 2 and 1 over 6 minus 1 and 3 over 4. So, get the LCD. LCD ng 6 at 4 ay 12. 12 divided by 4 is 3, times 3 is 9. 12 divided by 6 is 2, times 1 is 2. And then, copy the whole numbers. So, sila ay similar fractions na pwede na tayong mag-subtract. So, 2 minus 9 cannot be. Borrow tayo sa whole numbers. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 plus 12 is 14. 14 minus 9 is 5. Copy the denominator. 1 minus 1 is 0. Pwede nang hindi na ilagay. So, the answer is 5 over 12. So, ang last example natin is 7 and 5 over 11 minus 3 and 4 over 5. So, sila ay dissimilar fractions. So, we need to get the LCD. So, what is the LCD of 11 and 5? So, it is 55. 
Then, 55 divided by 5 is 11 times 4 is 44. 55 divided by 11 is 5 times 5 is 25. Then, write the whole numbers. So, similar fractions na sila, pwede na tayo mag-subtract. 25 minus 44 cannot be. Barrow tayo sa whole numbers. So, 7 minus 1 is 6. And then, 25 plus 55 is 80. So, 80 minus 44 is 36. Copy the denominator. 6 minus 3 is 3. So, meron pa ba siyang lowest term? Wala na po. So, this is the final answer. Yan, medyo okay na. So, ipakita ko lang sa inyo yung tatlong batang sumagot dun sa quiz natin sa addition of fractions. So, si Thea, si Rick, saka si Marcy. So, nabigyan ko na rin sila ng tumatiginting na 20 pesos low. So, napag-isip-isip ko na uh, gagawa na lang ako ng class record. Tapos, kahit, kahit ilang bata ang pwede sumali. Tapos, every sahod ko, sa ako sila bibigyan ng load, kung ilan yung points na naipon nila. So, para naman marami ang makasabi sa ating quiz. So, yung quiz natin ngayon ay 3 items. So, kapag na-perfect nyo yun, meron kayong 3 points. Equal din yun sa 3 pesos load. So, kapag naipon siya ng naipon, yun yung i-load na ibibigay ko sa inyo. So, kung may tanong kayo, comment down below. Don't forget to share and like this video and subscribe na rin kayo sa YouTube channel ko. And don't forget to click the notification bell para sa mga future videos ko. Thank you! Bye!